So here's a really quick introduction to how you can edit data in your data set within Weka. So uh, one quick thing that you just might want to do is to add a remove feature. So this is a simple data set we have about whether or not we go to the beach and we have three features. If you check one, like I did here, you have the option to remove it. So that's like one kind of really coarse way you can edit the data set. Uh, but you may want to change specific values or mess around with it. And so once you have it loaded in the Explorer here, you can click the edit button at the very top. And what this is going to do is bring up a table uh, with all of your data. Basically, it's a parsed version of your ARF file. And then if you wanted to adjust some of this, so say you're just exploring the data and you want to see if there's, you know, one outlier or something you could change, you can just double click and it gives you a way that you could change this. So say instead of making that 85, we want to make it 95. You can go ahead and change that and that'll change it for what you have in here. Um, note that you also have the option to add an instance, so maybe we want to make another one uh, to see if that helps with our training. So here we have three options for our conditions. It starts with just one by default, but we could pick one, put in a temperature, and then change the class here. Uh, once you're done with that, you can click OK. That adjusts the data that you have available. And then you also have the option here to save, which will let you save an R file uh, in the way that you have adjusted it. So there are certainly other ways that you can edit. I have this one actually pulled open here in BB Edit, just a plain text editor. And so you can edit the Weka file this way. If it's a really big file with lots of instances, that may work a little more smoothly than trying to edit it in the Weka framework. Um, any plain text editor is a fine way to do that. But you can absolutely do it all in Weka using that edit button up at the top.